we're being asked to find the volume of the solid that we get when we rotate this bounded region here about the line x equals 2. So before we draw our picture, let's draw a preliminary picture. So this is a straight line, and it has a negative slope. If you plug in 0 here, you get 1. So when x is 0, y is 1. And if you plug in 1 here, you're going to get negative 1 plus 1, which is 0. So we're here. So it looks something like that. And then the line x equals 0 is this vertical line here. And the line y equals 0 is this horizontal line. So we care about this triangle. And we're spinning it around the line x equals 2. So let's go ahead and redo our picture and make it a little bit bigger. So there's the y-axis and there's the x-axis. So x, y. And so this is 1 and this is 1. And there is our line. And we're spinning it about the line y equals 2. So this will be, or rather, x equals 2. This is the vertical line x equals 2. OK, let's go ahead and use the shell method. So whenever you use the shell method, your rectangles are always parallel to the axis of revolution. So in this case, this is our axis of revolution, because we're spinning it here. And when we draw our rectangle, there's only one way to draw it. It has to be parallel. OK, since we have a vertical rectangle, that means we're going to have a function of x. So whenever your rectangles look like this, you have functions of x. Whenever your rectangles look like this, you have functions of y. All right, we need to draw two things in our picture. First is h of x. So h of x is the height or the length of the longer part of the rectangle. P of x is the distance from the shorter part of the rectangle to the axis of revolution. So this is P of x. Let's go ahead and write down h. We know that this is the line y equals negative x plus 1. y equals negative x plus 1. So no matter where we draw our rectangle, that's going to be the height as a function of x. So little h of x is equal to negative x plus 1. To find p of x, we need to denote this by something. So this distance here is simply x. This full distance here is 2. So if you take 2 and you subtract x, you get p of x. So again, if you take 2, this distance here, and you subtract x, you get p of x. So little p of x is simply 2 minus x. And now we're ready to write down the formula for the volume. So v is equal to 2 pi. And we're integrating with respect to x. So we're going from 0 to 1. So 0 to 1. And then the formula is p of x times h, h of x. So it's p of x, h of x, dx. So this is 2 pi, 0 to 1. And then p of x was 2 minus x. And then h of x was negative x plus 1 dx. And via some magical steps uh, called a calculator, <laughs> this is approximately 5.2. So I hope that made sense.